welcome back to a brand new video today. As you can see, of course, we do have access to the FIFA 17 demo. Um, first things first, of course, it's probably not going to be as exciting as some of the content you're seeing on YouTube currently with, you know, ultimate team packs, squad builder challenges, pro clubs, career mode, etc. Um, this is really going to be just my first ever experience of anything to do with FIFA 17. Mainly gameplay wise, uh, that's all we've got to choose from is kickoff and the journey. So I'm probably going to do like two videos on this, one on, on kickoff today and the next is going to be the journey. So starting things off, we are going to play a game. Uh, we've got a few teams to choose from, as you can see, Chelsea, Man U, Man City, Bayern, Inter, Sounders, Juventus, PSG. Very, very exciting stuff. No Arsenal. No Arsenal. Very, very disappointed. All right. So um, we are going to choose. We are going to choose Manchester United because hopefully I get to try and use Marcus Rashford, which I'm really looking forward to. And we're going to go with. We're going to go with their rivals. Why not with Manchester City? And um, I do have to say I've, I've seen this kit screen before in a few other previews and it looks so good really really like that so we'll choose the blue one why not and um, it should be should be a-okay Ibrahimovic oh oh wow really Ibra a oh. I just uh, I just can't score any please really hey I got 200 points I uh, I used to be quite good at that. There, there you go. Finally, actually hit the target, and it missed. All right. So first things first is I forgot to change the lineup, of course, before I start the game. So we're gonna go. Do we go with Ebra? Um, I got my. Okay, we're gonna go with Ebra for the, for the moment, and um, got Martial. Of course, we've got Pogba as well. Got Mkhitaryan, 87 rated apparently. Um, of course, you know, they're not final. None of the ratings are probably final at all, but because Pogba is an 88. However, um, you know, I, I wouldn't mind an 87 Mkhitaryan. So I think that's probably the team we're going to 91 to here. Are you mad? Um, so, okay, we don't really have many options as substitutes. Um, got Herrera, Blind. So I, I think that's probably pretty good for so far um i put the difficulty on professional i think because i i've always found um world class to be a little bit too difficult in FIFA 16 so um we'll uh, we'll see how it goes if it's too easy then i'll probably bump it up but so far it feels so weird this game feels so weird of course it's going to it feels so weird everything feels slower uh, of course, you know, Ultimate Team is probably sped up to kick off or anything offline, but... Oh, God. The tackle. Okay. Oh, come on, really? Hopefully, they've improved it because, of course, you know, in FIFA 16, that was nice. Um, it would go to the person offside more often than not. Man City are just destroying me currently. Currently, don't want to... Oh, okay. <laughs> I was going to say, don't really want to lose my first uh, first game, especially against the AI on uh, FIFA 17, Fernandinho, really. God damn it. The thing is, I could have put it on a really low difficulty and just, you know, thrashed the AI like 12-0 to make it look like I was incredible at FIFA, but um, I wanted to put it on like a relatively difficult difficulty, so I had somewhat of a chance to be beaten, but... Um, Ibra breaking through. Oh, it wasn't even Ibra. It was Schneiderlin. Don't know why Schneiderlin was um, playing striker currently. Whatever works. Whatever works for you best. Oh god. There we go. Paul Pogba. Smash it. There you go. Incredible stuff by Paul Pogba. I'm, you know, as an Arsenal fan, I'm, I'm not looking forward to the Premier League. Because what I've seen of Paul Pogba so far is just incredible. He's just so good. No matter what team he plays for, he's just so good. I don't usually play against the AI, so, um, you know, it's really weird. I, I mean, I play a little bit of career mode here and there, but not a whole lot because I find the AI just massive cheaters all the time. So I can't stand them. 
But, um, you know, today is no different. Today is no different. Just watching the AI pass, pass the ball around. No real, no real point to it. Of course, <laughs> they'll always score from it, which is the worst part, please. No. And there you are. See, like I told you, the AI just passed the ball around you and then they'll always score. Well, unless you're incredible at the game, you know, um, you know about the AI and such and what they do. But God damn it. God damn it. Smash it. Oh, OK. So we've got a corner. Do have a corner. Get to try some of the new or one of the new set pieces in um, FIFA. FIFA 17. So use the left stick, which is that one, to control where you desire the ball to land by positioning the marker. Tap X for a loopy trajectory. That was a hard word. And oh, and hold for a driven trajectory. All right. Okay. So um, switch player. Yeah. LB. Press X to request the ball. Okay. All right. So. Ah, I see. So we can kind of... Let's choose right about... Uh, this is weird. Okay. Okay, straight to Ebra. Ah, oh, it didn't really work. Smalling. Ah, oh, why would I... I thought that was like... I don't know who I thought that was. Um, anybody but Chris Smalling would probably have been better. Yes, good tackle. Terrible tackle, rather. T terrible. Utterly atrocious. All right, so it's going to take a lot of time to get used to that new corner. I mean, I know they've got new free kicks and new penalty systems, so it's going to take an absolute decade to get used to those. Um, I'm taking this so seriously. I'm taking this just like an ultimate team game. But um, Right, so <laughs> we're going to swap out Ibrahimovic for Marcus Rashford. I've used him in career mode a few times, and he's been absolutely incredible. So hopefully he can do just that. We're going to move Paul Pogba up to centre attacking mid and put, um, why not put Herrera in CM for no, I mean I could play, okay I'll play Rooney at CM, I, there's not really much point to it. Um, and that'll be, I think that'll be it. So good, alright. Second half, again serious face on, see that run. Or, or Marcus Rashford almost, almost getting his first goal within like a few seconds, just like his um, England debut, almost, almost. Good tackle by Bailey, I think it was, or by Bailey. I don't know how you pronounce it. Oh, good tackle, yes, go, right on the break, pass. Marcus Rashford breaking through with that pace, smash it. There you go, Marcus Rashford instantly making the massive impact onto, onto the onto the game. I'm taking this so seriously again, but uh, I, I don't really care. I want I want to win. I want to beat the AI. I, I always think they're massive cheaters, so you know it gives me a lot of satisfaction just to beat them. But that was an incredible goal. Cannot wait to use him on Ultimate Team. Uh, him and Renato Sanchez are two of the you know two players I'm really looking forward to using. Um, some of the additions they've. Um, I mean, pretty much all the additions they've added into FIFA 17 with like the managers on the sideline. It looks everything looks so good. I'm so excited for for this year's FIFA. Hopefully, the gameplay lives up to expectation. So far, you know, just playing against the AI, the passing seems so good. Like you can actually play like ticky tack of uh, football, which is something I, I try and do. Obviously, in FIFA 16, it's pretty much impossible. Because the, the passing is just so random that um, you can't really do anything. But, I mean, I can't really say as well because I am playing just against the AI. So, um, I can't say here or there whether or not it's flawless. But, it feels good. It feels good so far. I see that pass to Paul Pogba. Oh. Did not did not work out as, uh, as it turns. Oh. Uh, what? Okay. Somehow that's worked out Paul Pogba Pogba again damn really I have no idea what happened there but somehow somehow it works in my favour hey get done oh what a good shot and there you go Anthony Martial is there to pick up the rebound 3-2 
what an incredible just a FIFA t typical FIFA goal just a rebound and then <laughs> if that was ultimate team that guy would probably be pretty mad at, the, at this point in time good goal good uh, good goal oh the skills are just too much for the AI they cannot handle the skills right see if I can use the pace hmm okay I wanted to try and see if um if pace was anywhere near as important it doesn't really seem that important in in 17 um so I see the pass to I was trying to pass to Rooney but um never mind oh god who is that I can't see Nalito stop please <laughs> please oh my god no way I can't believe okay okay never mind <laughs> wow. wow typical typical FIFA at its best I see that pass breaking through to Schneiderlin Schneiderlin playing striker and he's missed he's missed I can't but that's why you don't play Schneiderlin at striker oh good lord oh I actually got a okay maybe it's not all bad maybe it was not all bad okay so we're going to put it oh god I have no idea where that went it's a little bit hard to control the um the marker in the um in the box when you're trying to take the um take the corner so again going to take a long time to get used to that I can I can just see it make the tackle smash it well it would have been good if that was anywhere near close to the to the goal all right so that is where we're going to leave it for today um i do realize i know i said in the video i'm going to play another game but as the video is getting on 10 plus minutes i don't want to kind of extend it any further so we'll save that for a separate video and uh, of course next video should be something related to the journey which i'm really really excited for so hopefully you have enjoyed this video thank you very much for watching and as always until next time.